Okay, bottom line here, as they're just about loaded for the Seabiscuit Handicap, who wins? Kaigen, four to one, I'll take it. Uh, yeah, I'm using Kaigen and Tom's Tribute, either one, but I, I give a slight edge to Kaigen, I think. The Turf Festival at Del Mar, another great race ahead for us. The Grade 2 Seabiscuit Handicap, it's post time. Here's Trevor Denman with the call. And away they go. Will appear to break smoothly. Along the inside, we have Mr. Commons broke well, but now dropping back as it's pure tactics going on to lead them. Tom's Tribute coming from the outside gate, and Big Bane Theory has to go wide, now going to drop in behind them. Sky Ring in the black colors right there. The pace solid early on. Then it's the gray, Czar approval. Kai Goons drop back third last. A little bit of fun alongside of that. And Mr. Commons trails eight lengths would cover the lot. Into the turn they go, and pure tactics along the inside, and Sky Ring. Those two stride for stride, they lead it by two. Tom's Tribute is right there in third, then comes Big Bane Theory, Zah Approval down at the rail. A little bit of fun as racing back in six, five lengths off the leaders. Kai Goon up alongside of that, and Mr. Commons content to trail, eight lengths would cover the lot. They head to the half-mile pole, and Sky Ring on the far side, and pure tactics still head and head up front. Length and a half to Tom's Tribute. Czar Approval gets a little closer in fourth. Then Big Bane Theory. A little bit of fun at the rail. Mr. Commons going for an early run wide out. Mr. Commons goes up fourth. And Kai Goon at the back, but they really compact. Four lengths would cover the lot. They are coming to the top of the lane, and now Tom's Tribute comes looking for the lead. Tom's Tribute, orange cap on the far side. Czar Approval at the rail. Pure Tactics tries to go on as well. Big Bane Theory, Mr. Commons, and even Kai Goon joining the fray late, wide open. Tom's Tribute gets the lead. Kai Goon coming, storming home in the center of the track. And here's Kai Goon up to take the lead with 50 to go. And Kai Goon and Cory Nakatani, Czar Approval late. But Kai Goon has won the Seabiscuit. Czar approval, flying second. Tom's tribute, finish third. Kaigan with a rush to get a win here, but this is Corey Nakatani really at his best, making all the right decisions when maybe he didn't get the spot that he wanted to, especially when you go into the far turn. Look at where he's in between horses here. Is this going to be where he can roll the dice along the pine? He eventually decides, stop, let's go the overland uh, That's exactly right. Look, he's putting the brakes on here, Mike. He's surveying the traffic in front of him. And while he's still anticipating, maybe I'll get a seam, no. And now he's committed to get to taking the overland route because look, that, that right there, he says, I'm not going inside anymore. I'm on the best horse I got, Ron. Let's just go wide and keep clear. Yeah, and it shouldn't be overlooked. He's got some of the best hands in the sport. And when he's tapping on the brakes and surveying the field, as you said, where to go, he's not taking too much away from his mount and losing too much momentum. He's very smooth when he does that. And that's why he can get Kaigun to re-rally with that wide trip. He he was on the best horse today, there's no doubt about it, but he had a great ride. Can we show that stretch run one more time? Because look, you got the clear run on the outside from the six, and look at Zah approval. Zah approval yeah. down on the inside, taking the inside route with Victor Espinosa. Well, and I gotta, t I gotta tell you, if if you had just looked at those two horses going to the far turn, I would rather have had Zah approval's trip, but it played out differently late. Watch this; it's easy to pick up. Kaigun in the pink silks on the outside, the tail of two trips. Watch, watch the white horse Zah approval down on the inside, saving ground, saving ground. Look, steady, steady, steady. He's losing momentum, and he does rally late to make a hmm. bit of a race of it by about a length, length and a half. But maybe just that loss of momentum. Maybe it didn't cost him a win, but he would have been closer. No, but he was always about three to four lengths ahead, at least going up the backstretch of your eventual winner. So that allowed your eventual winner to make up that right. difference between those two at a crucial point well, in the race. Exactly. I think that's the difference between Corey and Victor, is that Corey had the same thing happen to him in the turn where he had horses slowing in front of him. Corey's smooth enough that he can gather him a little bit, slow him down, and then swing him wide. And he does it so effortlessly, and the horse doesn't lose any momentum, despite the fact that he had to gear him down just a touch. We saw trainer Mark Cassie a little pensive before the race. Here is him watching down the stretch when he realizes Kai Gun is in full flight for the wire, and he knows how well this horse was prepared that last workout on November 23rd here at Del Mar. Essentially, that is the type of move that this horse made to win today. And earlier this summer, Mark Cassie made a real commitment to the racing here by having a stable here full time. And he said at the time, I absolutely love it here. And he's been a presence at this fall meet. He's been staying down here at this fall meet, Kai Gun, by owned by local owner Gary Barber. And I still don't understand why he was 42 to 1 in the British Cup yeah. last time out. 6 2 8 4 posted on the board. One more look down the stretch. It's Kai Gun getting to the wire 
first at 7-2. We'll be back with more from Del Mar right after this.